Chupacabra, Mothman, the Loch Ness Monster, these creatures of legend has, have mystified and confounded humanity for generations. But nothing matches the big daddy of them all. And who's that, Sarah? Bigfoot. That's right. And where are we today? The North American Bigfoot Center. We sure are. We're going to go squatch hunting and see what this is all about. Where science and cryptids collide. Let's get them. Thank you. The legend of Bigfoot goes back to the native days in British Columbia. Oh boy, I wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley. Are you enjoying the science of Bigfoot? The only evidence, all the evidence I need is this guy right here. He looks really angry. Oh look, I've been waiting to see this for a long time. This is an impression of a Bigfoot butt. Buttocks imprint.
I don't know. I feel like my bed is that big. Oh, baby sass. Adorable. And now I'm going to do some sciencing. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh. What's he sound like? Hmm. So apparently, there is a sighting at the Clackamas River. Could it be the one that was spotted in Canby five years ago I on think, the logging trail? I think obviously it is. We they might have, have to a, move fast. We they might have fast. a Sasquatch living in our own theoretical backyard, Ooh, figurative backyard, that not literal backyard. Yeah. Mm hmm. Right nearby where where we live. What, how do you feel about that? Um, I'm fine. <laughs> Sasquatch likes to bust some twigs. What I didn't know was that there's been Bigfoot sightings in Indonesia, in all Vietnam, over. All, over. all over, and the Sasquatch likes to do tree twists. Yeah, I know. They, they, they take behaviors. a branch. Also, they gift. Did you read about how I they gift? I did. Gifts? In Sandy, Oregon. Yes. A baseball was left in someone's yard. Is Sasquatch responsible? Could be. Could be. Could clearly, be. the science tells us yes. Could be. Well, it says maybe. We don't know. The jury's out for now. For now. Question is, Sarah. Uh, okay. We met this guy. If you met this guy in the woods, mm -hmm. would it be like Harry and the Hendersons? Or would he just rip your arms off? No, he looks so nice. Look at his compassionate <laughs> eyes. Look at his compassionate eyes. Well, he looks angry. No. Maybe he, he just looks, needs a snack. He looks scared. I think he's a wise man of the forest. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he. no one's been able to catch him yet, so he's got to be relatively smart. If your whole existence is a, is a mystery or lore, then I think that you're, like, evolutionarily super evolved. And that you're a mystery. Yeah. Yeah. We just got out of the North American Bigfoot Museum and gift shop. And center. It's a center. center. I think it's like and, a research um, center too. I, I feel like I learned a lot about um, Bigfoot Sasquatch that I didn't know before. There were some sightings I had never heard of. Yeah. That, were, that had some pretty cool images. You could hear some of the videographers from like footage talk about their experience like with headphones. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was pretty... It was more interactive you know, than I thought it would be. If you're interested in uh, cryptozoology, if you are interested in the legend mm -hmm. of or the like, big guy himself. Or like the woman that was there when we were leaving was showing pictures of prints she had found in the ground. And mm -hmm. the guy said he thought they could be Bigfoot prints. Could be. Could be. This is the place Who for knows? you. Who knows? Come on by to Boring, Oregon. An exciting place to be and visit this that according to the owners they are just getting started on the museum it More just opened to come. yeah it just opened two they're days gonna, ago they're gonna make a, a cryptid cave and they're gonna adjust the lighting and everything they have some so, video footage that they're gonna project onto the wall yes lots yeah. more to come 
Yes. And uh, eight dollars to get into the museum. And um, yeah, it's Bigfoot. No. Who knew? How do, you, how do you turn this thing off? Oh, my God.